Yeah, this viewer says, with the rise of people being quote-unquote spiritual but not religious, uh, I've come across a symbol called the Hamza Hand. It is said to be a spiritual protection against evil spirits. On the surface, it seems to be false worship and superstitious. But Father, is there a Catholic teaching on this symbol? And how would one defend against arguing that those symbols are superstitious, but Catholic items such as the St. Benedict Medal or the Brown Scapular are not? Well, there, there are several questions in here. First of all, he asked if you're familiar with the Hamza hand, right? And uh, I wasn't, but I, I am somewhat familiar with it now. And they say it's an ancient Mesopotamian symbol. And it has basically filtered through various cultures, uh, through pagan Egypt and uh, other areas. And uh, it's supposed to ward off evil spirits, uh, notably the Malocchio, the evil eye in Italy and so on. It's basically, it can be uh, out like that or turned, you know, inverted too. And it has a different meaning and a different power, supposedly, whether it's fingers are pointing up or the fingers are pointing down. But it's the palm out that is shown. But it is, no doubt, it is superstition. Clearly, it is just superstition. Evil spirits are not uh, in any way impressed with the Hamza <laughs> hand, saying, oh, there's the Hamza hand. I better stay away. You know, I'm going to get smacked by the Hamza hand. Uh, it, it's, it's just pure superstition. But, you, you know, you still find people with a red, like, curled horn it's supposed to uh, turn away the evil eye and ward off the evil eye and just a variety of other things like that. I mean, I've seen people go through the process of pouring pepper into the water to see how it spreads and, you know, these are all superstitious, the practices. Some might say, well, on the surface of them, they're somewhat childish and people don't necessarily regard them as being superstitious or even contrary to the Catholic faith. But to think that these things actually have any, any power, we call them occult powers, uh, such as like an intelligence behind them to, to answer your questions about occult realities, that is not only non-scientific and non-rational, but it really is, in a sense, at least implicitly invoking uh, evil spirits, even in the process of thinking of warding them off. Uh, by what power would a Hamza hand any, have any power over evil spirits? Uh, unless the evil spirits were willing to give it that power, or unless there were other, even worse spirits behind them, right? So any of these things, uh, the Ouija board and, and, and uh, the rest, they, they all involve uh, summoning or somehow invoking occult spirits to answer questions or to exercise a certain power over other evil spirits. These are not from heaven. Uh, the Hamza hand is not the hand of God, that's for sure. Okay. Now one might say, well, what about sacramentals, like the St. Benedict medal and so on? Well, there is one true God. And uh, the one true God can give us emblems that are emblems of his true power. And uh, those, those powers are often at work through the saints, like such as St. Benedict and so on. God gives them power over evil demons. We read that in the gospel, that our Lord sent the apostles out and he gave them powers over these demons to command them, right? And the apostles went out and they did exercise uh, in the name of Jesus and uh, successfully so. Uh, so our Lord can give his powers. In fact, that's what he did when he ordained them priests. He gave them the power of sanctifying through, through the sacraments, through the Mass. Um, so, you know, for us Catholics, it is understandable that there are powers in the world that are occult powers. When we refer to occult powers, we're talking generally about demonic powers or, you know, evil powers that are exercised in, in spite of God. Um, but God forbid that we should invoke any of those. But there are the hidden powers of God manifested in his church throughout the ages and in the lives of his saints. So, you know, if one were to say, well, you know, they have the Hamza hand and we have the St. Benedict medal, isn't it the same? And the answer is no. It's, it's a, the complete opposite. Because one invokes the occult powers of some creature, at least implicitly, and they're not a blessed creature in the grace of God. And the other actually appeals to the, to the mercy and the power of God himself. And he himself has explicitly given these powers. 
to give us sacramentals, even as Jesus himself gave us sacraments. And so there's nothing wrong with turning to the one true God and asking his help through, through these means. I mean, we do not have, believe that these things have magical powers. Actually, that's quite contrary to the whole idea of a sacramental, because a sacramental uh, is only as valuable as the strength of the faith and the hope and the charity of the one using it, right? It is meant to uh, increase their faith and their hope and charity as an emblem of God, and his love and his power. And as such, it actually uh, does cause evil spirits uh, great discomfort. Remember what Father Mort said, the exorcist in Rome, that the, the demons would say during exorcisms, we suffer more here than we do in hell. And uh, if you examine why, you'd find it's because there they encounter the holy name of Jesus and Mary, Joseph, taken lovingly. They don't deal with that in hell. But also the sacramentals of holy water and uh, the crucifix and so on. I mean, these are things that confront them with a very tangible expression of God's love. And that's what the sacramentals are.